Good morning, Doug Petrie, operations trainee for Great Basin Team 7 with their operational update for today. Yesterday was a, a good day for the folks when the weather allowed them to actually get out and get some work done. They uh, took advantage of the early morning hours up here in Division Hotel. They were able to, uh, they tried to engage up above the Iron Gate area, but weren't able to, so they pulled down and then re-engaged here at the drop point 220 area uh, and taking care of this piece of dozer line in here, repairing that and getting that back up to specs. The plan for today is to have those folks finish that piece and then see if they can come up and again re-engage up here to get this piece of dozer line that comes off the hand line above Iron Gate. Uh, yesterday we also did see some smoke pop up right above Hamilton Mesa up here. It's uh, something that was on the IR map that we are aware of. We're going to send some people in there today to see if they can take care of that and then put that to bed. Moving over here into the repair group side of things, uh, they also had another good day. All the moisture stayed north of them again, so they were able to continue work with the excavators repairing those dozer lines, again, pulling the stumps and the logs over, continuing that good work that's going on there. They were able to take care of the spaghetti bowl around Barilla Peak, and then the plan of operations today is to continue doing that with the excavators working along the dozer lines from Barilla down the 83 road, and then at drop point 210, there's probably about two to three shifts that they can continue that work. So they'll conti continue those operations as the weather allows. The other thing that we accomplished yesterday and starting to get a good plan of operations for is the QR data over here on the private land repair work, suppression repair work that's needed. Uh, coming through that data, feel like we got a good plan of operations. We'll start sending a division out there to start validating that information and building a systematic plan so we can put our resources in the right places as the weather allows us to be successful to repair that suppression operations. That's the plan for today. Thank you.